Are you struggling to find balance in your life? Maybe you're exhausted and you just feel like you can't get anything done. Some people react that way. Or maybe you're just like on a treadmill and, and you just can't get off. Like you're running so fast everything that you feel like you can't even enjoy your life. Um, both examples are probably a person that doesn't have balance. I remember years ago when I was a single mom raising my two youngest children and I felt like every time we went somewhere, I was like in that um, high you know, mode, like trying to run to get things done. And because I, I just wanted to get as much done as I could in every given day, where now that I look back, I probably didn't really take the time to enjoy my moments. And I'll never forget the day that that hit me. I went to Walmart, I had my girls with me and we had to run in to get something. But I remember just like, oh, we're gonna go in really fast and get whatever's on the list and hurry up and go to the next event or whatever we were doing. I don't even know where we were going or where why I was rushing, but I bumped into a coworker and she says, hi, Vanessa. And I, I just remember looking her at her like with these glazed eyes. And I remember her looking at me like, oh my gosh. <laughs> And, um, and we laugh about it now, but I remember that day thinking, oh my gosh, what did she see? Like I was this crazed maniac trying to get stuff done, pushing my cart and practically running through the store. Have you ever been like that? Like trying to get stuff done? Crazy. You know, even when we go fast, it doesn't make things happen better, if that makes sense. And um, I've since learned to just get what I can get done each day and just find that balance and make sure I'm putting my time into all the areas of my life. And I'm going to give you five reasons today that maybe these are the areas that you could work on if you find you're struggling. I mean, there's so much information, but th let me just give you some five reasons today of why you might be struggling to find that balance. I always split my balance up into eight areas. Um, there's your hobbies and your interests. So it's kind of like your fun, uh, maybe future projects, we always got projects going on, your job, um, your self-care. And for some people that they may already be exercising. Maybe they're doing too much exercise. You know, you can have too much in one area, not enough in another. Um, community activities, if that's important to you. Um, family relationships, that could be your spouse, um, a, a significant other, your children, your parents. It can be all your relationships, your friends and colleagues are over here. And then your spiritual concerns, you can take this wheel and put in things that are only important to you, but this just gives you an idea of eight areas that most of us have, and we want to find some balance in those areas. And if you don't, let me give you an example here. Here's where a person went in and, and said how much time they were spending in different areas of their life. So they had financial, family, but look how, look how different things were, um, some things were suffering while financial and professional was doing well, other areas of life weren't. Mental health, physical health, um, time with family. So you see how you can change these areas of what's important to you. But what I want you to see here, I want you to make a wheel and decide what are the areas that are important to you. You can come up with six areas, it doesn't have to be eight, but then give it a score. Like how much time am I spending in these areas? And then draw, connect them with a circle. If you think of this as a wheel, I don't think it would roll very well, do you? It's kind of out of balance. And that's where that balance acronym comes or, or, you know, analogy. It's not an acronym, it's analogy. But that's where that analogy comes from. If you just put it on a wheel, you want it to kind of be round and balanced. Not perfect, but as perfect as it can be. So now that you know what areas you're looking at, Number one, you're probably feeling unbalanced because you're not really sure what balance looks like for you. You're not really sure what areas that you need to work on. You're just so out of control that you haven't stopped to look at your life. And a lot of times on my channel, my little tagline a lot is take your life back. And I mean, take your life back in all areas of your life. I know myself um, especially when I was young, I kind of let life happen. I I'd go get a job. I, I never felt like I had the right to make decisions of things. And I know that sounds silly, but like I got a job and I worked because they told me to be there. And even if I didn't like the job, I would stay. And I remember a friend telling me once, you don't have to stay here. And I'm like, well, they were nice enough to give me a job. You know, don't I have to stay? I mean, that's how bad it was. I just kind of let life happen. I sent my kids, my older kids to school. And I remember thinking, I you know, I, I don't agree with everything that's going on, or maybe they went to a certain, you know, um, youth group or something. And I remember not always agreeing with everything, but I always felt like I, I had no choice. They were the experts, but I have since learned that 
I can make those decisions. I can um, make other choices. And your life is the same way. You don't have to do everything and you can find that balance. But you need to figure out what balance looks like for you. Like you may be spending too much time at work and you want more time with your family, or maybe you're not spending enough time on yourself and you're, you're taking care of everyone else, but you've got to find that balance. And I know you've heard this a million times. We all have the same 24 hours. I cannot stress that enough. And I know you're probably sick of hearing it, but it is the truth. Um, I have seen people with multiple responsibilities and they have found a way to balance and, and, and find that organization in their life so that it all works. And that's what you have to do for your own life is figure out what balance looks like for you. Now I have this chart here again. If you want to stop the video real quick and write that down or take a, a picture with your camera, but use that as an example. That doesn't have to be the eight areas that you find that you want to balance. You may only want to work on three areas right now, but figure out where you want to spend time trying to figure out what that balance is going to look like for you. What is important to you? Because what's important to you may not be important to me, if that makes sense. Now, number two, you might not be feeling balanced because you don't actively engage with discipline. And I wanted to find a picture that represented undisciplined. And this little boy came up, but everybody has been exposed to an undisciplined child. And you know the thoughts that go through your mind. You know how you judge the parents and how that child has not been disciplined. Well, if you have an unbalanced life, you are probably not being disciplined. You're probably just getting things done. You're going, you know, you're in a rat race. You're on that treadmill. You're just doing what you can do. And you're, there's just no organization, no planning, and, and you're just getting through the day. Well, that's what you probably look like to everybody else. Um, so think of that little boy. He's undisciplined and he's a little boy that nobody really wants to be around because nobody has disciplined him. Now as an adult, we can actively engage that discipline in our own lives. And I'm going to give you an example. Um, Maybe you um, aren't disciplined with your finances. Maybe you just get a charge card and you just go out and buy whatever you want. And then that bill comes in and you don't have the money to cover it. So you don't have that discipline where you have set a budget for yourself. And those are little things like that that can make your life feel more balanced and more disciplined. And a lot of people see discipline as a bad thing, but honestly, research has shown that people who are more disciplined are actually less stressed and they have happier lives because they have somewhat of a control of in their life. Now, I'm not talking about over control, but that well-balanced discipline. And so think about yourself. What areas in your life are you not disciplined enough in? What are areas can you actively engage more discipline? This one always almost goes with being undisciplined, but... Maybe you try to be disciplined, but then you're not consistent. So number three, you're probably struggling with balance because you aren't being consistent with your actions. So maybe you have great intentions and you keep making that great plan. I'm going to give you an example. Let's say when you go on a diet, you go a whole week and you eat salads and you eat fresh fruit and vegetables and you do a really good job. But then the next week you feel like, oh, maybe you got a little stress. So you end up at McDonald's every day and you're eating Big Macs and fast food and things that you know you shouldn't, but you make excuses and say, well, I'm having a bad day. And then your consistency goes right out the window. Well, then you've just become undisciplined again. And this picture here kind of shows the stock market. Anybody that invests their money in the stock market, they don't want to see that inconsistency of the stock going up and down. They kind of want to see that consistent rise going up. So think of yourself there. Um, maybe you can plot your days. How consistent have you been? Whatever goals there are that you've made. Um, how well are you doing? Maybe you can plot it on a chart. Give yourself a one to a 10 and see if you're all over the place and inconsistent. Now, one of the things I want to make clear here is there are eight areas that I showed you. Again, maybe you chiseled it down to six or raised it to 12. I don't know, but don't try to find balance in every single area at once, but kind of think of these things in general. Like, where am I not being consistent? Where's an area that I have been trying to be consistent? I have been trying to change and then start being consistent and start tracking that and encouraging yourself to make sure you do what you say you're going to do 
every single day. Most people who find that they're not balanced and they feel like they're all over the place, they don't plan out their weekly schedule. I work from home and I still, I get made fun of by some of my friends because I still write my schedule, my daily schedule on a piece of paper of what the tasks are that I need to do. Now I used to be overkill and I felt like I couldn't stop the day until everything was done. Well, I was out of balance. I was putting too much time into my list and not and then ignoring my family. So what I do now is I have my most important things that there's no, they have to be done for the day. And there's usually three things. And then after that, I keep working on my list. Well, I have a new list the next day. So if, if item number four was important, well, that becomes item number one the next day, if that makes sense. So I feel really good that I've accomplished those three important things and many times even more. But by a certain time of the day, it usually depends on when my husband comes home from work, I'm done for the day. Or I'll do light things maybe later in the evening on my computer where we can I can still talk and be engaged, but I'm not constantly looking at that list and, and letting that run my life. So it can happen both ways. So plan your week, but then don't over plan it either. You know, you've got pe people on both ends. Right here, it's funny. It says, what are, um, what are other words for lack of order? Lack of order is disarray, disorganized, dis discomposure, and disunity. You just feel like you're all over the place. And you've, even though you've done a lot of things, you might not feel like you're getting anything accomplished. So write it down. Even if it's just running the kids to their events, um, cooking dinner, if you write things down and you check them off a list, it is amazing how much more accomplished you feel and how much more imbalanced you feel. I have even done that with my meals. Um, at times when I'm trying to watch what I eat, I write everything down and it helps me stay consistent with what I want to eat. So we go back to the one before, if you were trying to um, only eat salads, write it down. And then if you find yourself out in the car and you're going somewhere, then you can tell yourself, you know what, I keep finding that I'm on the go and I'm hungry. Well, just pack a light snack or something. Like find a way to not get off of your routine, if that makes sense. Routines are good. Um, they're good for us. They The plan, it helps us to find that balance. Okay, one more, number five. This is a big one and you're you're probably feeling out of balance or out of whack because you aren't taking care of yourself. And some of the areas of taking care of yourself are eating right, sleeping well, getting some type of exercise, mentally taking care of yourself, maybe spiritually, you know, what is it that you need? What do you need to feed yourself to feel like you're not out of energy and a lot of times especially moms will always put everybody else first and it's kind of like being on the airplane where the stewardess tells you if you have somebody sitting next to you, a child or an elderly person that you need to take care of grab that mask and you take the oxygen first because you can't help that person next to you unless you're breathing and you have oxygen yourself. So that's how life works. If you have a lot of responsibilities, a family to take care of, whether it's elderly parents, a spouse, children, you know, you can't take care of them properly unless you take care of you properly. I don't know if you've ever been around somebody who is exhausted and they start becoming, um, you know, I have to take care of you. I, I can't get anything done. You know, their whole demeanor changes. They become victims sometimes and they become people that nobody wants to be around. So take care of you. And I promise you that you'll be able to do all those other things you want to do. And especially if you're trying to start a business or, you know, maybe build a home or take on some huge project you can't do those things and find balance unless you take care of yourself first. So I hope this was helpful. Um, go back through, write those five things down, find those areas. And again, I don't mean for you to change all of this overnight, but start, change happens a little bit each day over time with consistency. Um, you've heard that with, you know, people that go to lose weight, they don't just start eating right overnight and then lose 10 pounds and everything's good. It's, a, it's changing life habits. And that's what balance is about. It's changing what you're doing now because it's not working you're not feeling like you're balanced and it's doing something that's going to help you to feel balanced and making those little changes each day over a long period of time they'll become habits and it'll become a new you so i hope this was helpful give me a thumbs up if it was and 
please subscribe to my channel. I'll have more videos just like this. You'll see them in the playlist as well. And I don't have anything to offer you. I don't have a, a PDF or a free list or anything like that. I just wish you well and um, get out there and take care of yourself.